Yo, what up guys, Brynamissa here, and I'm bringing you the last of my Minecraft Beta 1.8 update features. I'm just going to be going over some of the little things that I couldn't really make an entire video out of. So, first off, I'm going to be talking about tall grass. As you can see, there's a shit ton of it, and that's because like mushrooms, tall grass now spreads. Bone Mill also works on normal grass, and will spread. Uh, I think it's uh, like a 5x5 five five area will spawn more tall grass and flowers. So if you need that tall grass and you have bone meal, then you can spawn it and get some seeds and get some flowers for that. So that is quite nice. Uh, nextly, there's a new achievement called, uh, what is it? Sniper Duel. And what that requires you to do is to kill a skeleton with a bone arrow from 50 yards away. Uh, I have actually no idea how far that away how far away that is i'm assuming 50 blocks and that is a long way um next i'm going to be going over sprinting which as you know probably you just double tap w and you can do it um sprinting is limitless you can do it for as long as you want as long as your food food far food bar doesn't drop below uh 30 percent um hitting a mob while sprinting, we'll send them flying. Let me go find a mob real quick. I don't know where one is. Do, do, do. Wow, there's none around here. Um, hmm. Ah, there is a pig. What a perfect example. However, he's in water. Uh, but I think I think I can do it from over here. Yeah, he just went flying. You saw that? Here, I'll go do it to the cow over here maybe you can see it a little better I mean here's a normal hit sends him a little bit and that sent them way farther probably sends them like five blocks back which will be nice for if you know there's a creeper on a cliff and you just run at them and then they go flying off um there's particles uh let me see if I know. oh I hit the right button there are particles. You kick up whatever uh, you're running on, which is nice. Um, when you sprint, your field of view gets changed a little bit. It gets a little wider, just a little. And you can jump way farther now. So I'm going to show you. Usually you can only jump uh, two blocks if you time it right. With sprint, you can jump four. Yeah, I didn't time that right. I have better luck going the other direction. And I still didn't make it, but I mean you can make three easy and four if you time it right. I suck at this. I've never been good at jumping, but now I could see adventure maps having way more complicated jumping puzzles. I'm telling you, you can make four. I just suck at this. Uh, nope, still didn't make it. I suck at it, but take my word for it, please. Um. Let's see, next is lighting. So, uh, they've added new tents to blocks, and they are updated in a different way. Um, let me find a torch. Do, do, do. And let me take my way over here to where it's decently dark. And now I'll go ahead and cover this up with crafting tables. So, uh, now uh, blocks that are lit from a distance with a non sunlight source have a reddish tint uh, which is new uh, blocks lit with the Sun are still a whitish tint uh, blocks with no light are still a blackish tint and now Sun or uh, blocks in the moonlight have a bluish tint so that's all new um, the clouds now change color with light as in during sunset they turn reddish on whichever side is facing uh, the Sun which is kind of cool actually uh, the right the height of the clouds have been raised to the top of the map so if you build you know houses at the top of a mountain uh, you won't actually have the clouds going through them fucking finally my god um, and their movement is now synced with the time which is nice so now I'm going to go ahead and go over the debug menu, which is F3, if you don't know. Um, now you have the seed, which is below your player position on the left or next to your X, Y, Z, F. 
And uh, if you use this seed, you, everything I've done in my videos have been on this world, I believe. Uh, you can look it up on GameFAQs, or if you just type in uh, Stronghold Minecraft World Seed or something like that, and you get a GameFAQs thing, uh, the seed will be there, and they should have coordinates to the locations of that stuff. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, yeah, mobs don't have numbers over their head. Uh, you can take my word on that one. You'll probably find it out very quickly. So no more hunting down those mobs while in caves. They sneak up on you a lot better now. Um, changing fog now requires this. Um, I think my fog button is set to something else. Controls. Do, 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 do. I actually don't see it. Um, but it's default to F. And let's see, I think mine's over here somewhere. I don't know, I never changed my fog, so yeah, I have no idea where it's at. But take my word for it, you have to have this open, and then you have to press whatever your fog button is to change the fog. Um, yep, that's all to that. Uh, leaf blocks no longer decay uh, when you place them like they used to. You don't need wood anymore, which is quite nice. Um, rain and snow are way better because they render a lot faster. There's a new engine for it, I believe. And so, if, I mean, it still sucks when it's raining, but it's it looks a lot better. I think Notch said he thinks it looks about 10,000 times better or something like that. But anyways, um, you can now make actual tables. Well, not real tables, but a lot better looking tables because you could put both types of pressure plates on top of E fence. And you can't get on top of it. And yeah, it's actually quite nice. Um, arrows now stick to mobs. Uh, take my word on that one. I don't want to go fly over to the, the thingamajig. And when you craft, this is a nice one. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. Do And that. Now if you shift, left click this, you'll get all 64 instantly put into your inventory. Bam. Just like that. And that is fucking amazing, because if you're making, like, mass glass or some shit like that, or uh, mass, you know, anything, you know, torches is a good example, um, even if you have more than, like, 16 and 16, or a 64 stack, it will still make all of them, which is awesome as shit. Um, and the last thing is animals no longer despawn. They are always there. So, I could pin in... Uh, Let's see, like, see, there's that pig, there's those pigs, all these pigs, all these guys have just moved, and if I were to pin this little cow in here, and come back, like, three years later, and not update anything, he should still be there. So, you can now have a natural farm, which is awesome. Um, I believe that's it. There are, I mean, there's, there's a few other little things, but, um... I think I've gotten all of the main points of 1.8 and all of the big features. I've gone over all the new blocks, the new mobs. I've just went over all the little shits, uh, combat system, NPC villages, strongholds, mine, uh, mine shafts, and all that jazz. Um, I've actually had a lot of fun the last two days doing it, last two, three days. Um, and ta-ta for now. I will continue making videos um, on what? I don't know. Hopefully, Asp will finally join me again. I know a lot of you are only subscribed to my channel for her. And sadly, she... I had to steal her computer because it's actually my computer back from her. But she'll be getting it back soon. And then we will get back to the video making and the fun stuff like that. And the owning and me raging at her because she sucks at this game. Not really. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say it again. Ta-ta for now.